I'm so happy and glad to see that all the people of all age groups, especially the young people, are joining to keep on with the tradition. And uh, I've been singing for the last 20 years, and it's so nice to see this happening. I try to explain uh, what yodeling means. I mean, in, the, in, in my uh, bath with English, of course. The yodeling normally is one part of a song, is some text where we explain something, something very traditional about our mountains, about our flowers. And the second part is uh, yodeling. That's real yodeling where it's no text, actually. The yodeling is uh, something that you do on your uh, neck. It's not uh, just the stomach or something, it comes from the neck and it's uh, quite hard to train to get to the high tunes. <clears throat> and for this competition here, the Swiss competition, you have to get in uh, the province competitions. Not every yodeling club can come to this competition here. The Swiss organization has around uh, I'm not sure, but I think about 18,000 members. And here in the National Yodeling Fest, which uh, takes place every three years, uh, are about uh, 11,000. Yodeling song uh, has been developed in the mountains. And the funny thing is that our club, 20 people all together, we are from the industrial area from Switzerland, not that far from Zurich and Basel. And uh, we love it. We train very seriously for such a competition here. On the other hand, we enjoy to sit together, to drink wine, to have a lot of fun. And uh, uh, we are very, very good friends all together. I think that uh, is mu sometimes it's more important than the songs itself. It's like you have two sections by yodeling. You have the serious section where you train. And after it, you go to get to, together for a drink, and then you talk and laugh and have fun. It's like serious and funny together that you mixed under one hand. And actually, that's actually also the reason why we are here. We have already had our competition song around two hours ago, and now we are going to enjoy it. We are going to drink it, and we will have a nice time till tomorrow uh, uh, tomorrow evening. States since 1966. And I've been in the United States since 1977. I was actually born in this region, I was born in Spietz, and so for me this uh, Yodel Fest has special meaning because it's in my neck of the woods, so to speak. Uh, my colleague Ursula and I came to receive an award for being 25 years in the Swiss Folklore Group of Washington DC. We dance, sing, yodel, and we're a bunch of happy people over there. I sing bass, the fundamental part, but by yourself it sounds like being a bear or a grouch. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So I can't really, I can say, la, 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 but that's about as good as I can do it by myself. <laughs> The next Yodler Fest will be determined this weekend on Sunday when they exchange the flags. A thought of like uh, at the Olympic ceremonies when they change the flags to the next event's uh, city. When it's announced, then you're coming hopefully all to the next uh, Yodler Fest. And if you live in the United States, we help you to get there. <laughs> <laughs> Come to see the Eidgenössische Jodelfest and see how much fun it is.